Um, just today, I was uh, I was checking out on the, my video channel, and uh, I had two requests from people to uh, do a video on my medical kit. They saw my video, what's in the bag, and saw the medical kit that I pulled out, but I didn't actually show what was in the medical kit. Now, I didn't think it was really worth doing a video on the medical kit, as there isn't much in there. But, as has happened before, I think I was wrong. Um, I had requests for, for items that I thought were seemingly insignificant. Um, and I was wrong. The, uh, they are worth doing. I think when you live uh, a certain life for a long period of time, you tend to take a lot of things for granted. Um, and it's the same, I think, with doing living history for any length of time. You seem to take it for granted. Um, but not everybody knows what you know. Um, things that you think are common sense um, may not be common sense to somebody else. Um, they need to experience something before it becomes natural to them. So, I'm going to show you what's in my medical kit. Um, one thing I must stress is that I will not compromise my health and my safety for authenticity. In other words, I will not carry just 18th century, 18th century medical instruments and lotions if they don't do the job I want them to do. Now, the thing I'm probably most at risk from, danger-wise, in the bush is attack by animals. Um, be they feral dogs, snakes, wild boar. So I need to carry the stuff that uh, I can use to, to deal with cuts, scratches and bites, basically. Um, bandages cover that well and I used to carry um, bandages that I'd made up myself from cut cloth and they take up a lot of room and I don't think they're as good as modern bandages so I carry modern bandages in my kit and the main thing to remember if you're in living history and you're going to take anything in your kit that isn't, period, is to disguise it so it looks as though it is. Now, I carry my medical kit in this simple leather draw skin pouch. Okay, it's got a leather thong that pulls it up tight and I can tie it. Everything goes in there. So if one, of our meet, if one of our meetings before we go for a historical trek, somebody says, OK, everybody open up your bags, let's see what you've got inside, I take out that, and that's OK. When you're actually on site, if something happens, if you get bitten by a feral dog or you fall over and stake yourself, nobody is going to worry about what you pull out of your medical kit. What they need to know is that what you carry in your medical kit is sufficient to repair that injury, to deal with that injury. And that's what I do. I don't carry a lot, and if I was going on long trips with a lot of other people, I'd be carrying a much bigger medical kit. Or well, somebody would be carrying it, maybe not me, but somebody would be. So I'll just show you what I've got in my kit. And uh, like I said, I've got the bandages. I'll show you closer in a minute. I've got some tweezers. I'm pulling out splinters. I've got some scissors. 
mostly for cutting uh, cutting thread or suture thread, or uh, or for literally if I'm out for any length of time cutting fingernails and toenails. Uh, if you think you can do it with a large knife, go for it. Personally, I'll stick with the scissors. Bottles, I have some period style bottles. This one has salt in it. This one has iodine in it. And this one I use as an eyeglass. Now, I don't see many people carrying eyeglasses in medical kits. But the fact is, if you get anything in your eyes when you're out in the wilderness, it can be very debilitating. If you get it in both eyes, you can't see where you're going. You can't see at all. You're virtually blind. Your eyes will water, they will sting, they will become blurred, and it can hurt a lot. Okay? I've been there. I didn't want to carry a plastic, modern plastic eyeglass, so what I did was I found as close as I could to a period uh, chemist's jar or chemist's bottle that would actually fit over my eye that I could use. I don't know if anybody's ever used an eyeglass. What you do is you fill it with water, you put it over your eye, and then you upend it and you open your eye into the glass and you, you flicker your eyes and hopefully whatever's in there will get washed out. And I consider that to be a major piece of equipment if you're going out bush. Okay, if it hasn't happened to you yet, fine. I still reckon you should carry one because when it does, um, you wish you had. Okay, I'll... Uh, I'll show you some of this stuff up a little bit closer.